Greetings from the Eccentric Man, and the first go with the video since the iPad played up. But uh, for Christmas I got this wet palette from Army Painter. Uh, John had them in the shops, he had one, and I thought I'd give it a go. Because I have sort of limited uh, painting space on the table, as, uh, as some of you may well know. So, um, we've got it set up. It came in a nice little box, and uh, we'll go through what was in the box. Inside the box were these pamphlets. And what do we get? We'll start from the right, right to left. We've got a colour chart of all their paints, which is hand, handy to know uh, if I ever go down that route. But uh, I tend to use Vallejo and a little bit of Game Workshop. Um, we've also got here uh, a little manual on all the gaming hobby tools that they put out, which they've produced quite a lot recently. So uh, there's a little booklet of all those. We've got a small booklet of how to paint army painter style and it goes through the uh, the spray primer the painting and then the use of the uh, the army dip um, but it's an interesting little book and then we've got uh, some hobby products just uh, another little brochure on what they do so overall if you were to just wanted to get started using your uh, wet palette and uh, get started on painting figures that's not a bad little uh, setup in the books to get you on the, on your way now let's have a look at the, the main product. I've part set it up, so going again from right to left, we've got the, the top cover, plastic cover, hard cover with Army Painter written on it. We then have the main part of the uh, wet panel, which is the bottom reservoir pool, and I've already put in the little uh, reservoir, and I've put some water in, and I've got the membrane film over the top. So you can probably just see it glistening in a way there with the water underneath. So that's in there. I'll have to smooth that out again now after I've done that. Uh, you then get an inner cover, which is this one. And as you can see, there's some indentations. And that's where you put your paintbrush. That goes over the top when you're not using it. And then this goes over the top of that. And then you've got a strap. So it's, it's quite a neat little system. Uh, you also get in there 50 of your top membranes, 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 tricky speaking today, and you get another reservoir cover in there, one of the foamy sponge ones. So that fits in there too. So that's, that's your whole setup. Uh, my dogs are barking. Here's one of them. That's Dylan. Yeah, you're probably not going to see him. Uh, Ollie has got his uh, Christmas present, which is the duck. It's a bit messy on the floor because they've been breaking things up. Uh, this is Dylan, and what he's actually after is my mug of tea. Uh, he thinks this is what is. Uh... Yeah, I finished it. <coughs> so uh, that's it. <laughs> one of Christmas cards has fallen down. Let's just move that with my foot. So he enjoys his uh, his bit of bit of tea. Anyway, back to the main thing. So yep. Yeah, so you've got this uh, little cover. So we'll put this on, and um, we'll see how uh, how secure and tight and snug it fits. I've put the the band on it, and it's quite a tight fit with the band. Uh, and then you can see sort of the edge. It's not a hundred percent secure and it's not airtight and you would need to keep it flat if you were tra travelling around with it because uh, otherwise the water would leak out but that being said that's, uh, that's it set up ready to roll and I'm going to give it a go and see how it paints uh, and how it keeps the paints damp and be able to use I don't know if it's like you, you start painting some figures and get called away, particularly with the dogs. Um, they, uh, they do something, I have to go and sort things out. Uh, or people come to the door. So uh, I'm hoping that it will keep the paint fresh and I won't have to mix up so much to paint on the figures. That's the theory and we'll see how it goes. I've been running this now for... Oh, was it? Christmas Day... And we're now on the 30th. So 30th, so six days, 
five days. Maths is great. Five days. Uh, my findings so far. The I've kept the palette damp, so that there's a uh, plenty of white moisture below the uh, main membrane at the top with the with the paints. Um, the paints have dried up. However, I have been refreshing as we go along. But what I have found is it's really useful for the day-to-day -day use. Got my voice back a bit. Um, yes, I might have to up the amount of water moisture in the sponge reservoir. We'll give that a go and see how that works. Uh, but getting back to what I was saying, yeah. Um, what have I noticed? I get up and paint uh, bits and pieces during the day. Have to put it away and start again a little bit later on then come back to it and then do a bit of a painting on it it's been pretty useful uh, because I've got the colours that I've used in the earlier part of the day still able to be used again and I haven't had to mix them up again and I haven't had to put more paint on my palette so I'm using less paint and it's been more helpful to me to match the colours. So uh, again, when, when I paint, I block paint the different colours before I put an Agrax wash on. So I've been able to go back to tidy up the colours which I perhaps have uh, inadvertently uh, put a little dab of a different colour on. So I've been able to go back, use my original colour to touch it up. Uh, which I think is uh, quite a nice little way of being able to uh, keep my painting going. Um, so, yeah, uh, it is a thumbs up for the paint tray within certain specifications of it. I think they've miss missed a trick uh, by not having it to be able to seal with a rubber uh, surround. So if I show you on this edge... So we go back to the edge bit, and it doesn't fit 100% snugly. But if that had a small, thin rubber around the edge, then that could fit much more snugly on the palette itself. And then that would keep the moisture in uh, much better. But overall, uh, I think it's a good buy and useful. So, not too expensive. I think this cost me about £16. Uh, available from your local hobby shops, probably. Or online. So, Army Painter, little wet palette. Yeah, pretty good. Hope you enjoyed that little video on the review of the wet palette. Uh, what's up next? Well, we're now into the new year, so what I thought I'll do is put together a little video of all the projects that I've uh, painted up in 2019. So uh, I've been busily taking photographs of it and a bit of videoing, so that'll be the next up. So, see you soon, hit the like, hit the subscribe and share if you would. Till the next time, take care.